Today, we're meeting up with Spencer to go look for some rare Mississippi snakes. Go, go, go! Go, go, get the drugs in! Go, go, go! Is that GoPro running? Yeah. <laughs> Our goal? To catch an eastern diamondback. Wow, look at that diamondback. Wow, what a great start to the day. Okay, so our new goal is to find some rare nocturnal snakes. South Mississippi has many species that aren't very well documented, and it's gonna be our job to find them. Spencer, what are we looking for? Grasshoppers. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Zachary Gray, and today we're out here in South Mississippi Sandhill Habitat, and we're gonna be looking for some snakes tonight. There's actually a lot of really cool and undocumented snake species that live in this habitat, so I'm really hoping that we find something new tonight. Let's go. These sand hills become very active at night during the summer months. Since it's too hot for the reptiles to come out during the day, they primarily become nocturnal, moving around in search of deer mice and other prey. Here we go. There's a big old corn. Ooh, look at you. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That is a great looking snake. That, it's a big old corn snake. Ooh, it's okay, bud. Also known as a red rat snake. These are a fairly uncommon snake in my home state, but here in Mississippi, if you're in the right habitat, there's actually a really good stack of these guys, kind of like in Florida. Ooh, he's whippy. I've noticed at night these guys are particularly grumpy. There's a good snake. Now there's actually, don't bite my face, dude. Now corn snakes are actually known for their good dispositions, although this one's quite a bit grumpy. Rat snakes in general are normally very well mannered. Now they're called red rat snakes because, well, they eat rats, they eat mice, they eat all kinds of little rodents like that, but they'll also eat lizards and things like that. They're a very general snake species and a good snake to have around. They are actually semi-nocturnal. You can see these guys during the day or at night. This time of year, they're a little bit more nocturnal than most. They're coming out in the evening times, crying it right at dusk. They're not staying out too late, but they're definitely moving around at night and in the morning times. Well, definitely not a new snake for the area, and definitely not a rare snake by any means, but a great first find of the night. Hopefully soon we're going to see some more snakes, but till then, that is a really good start. Big old corn snake. All right, see ya, bud. Get back off. Ooh. While searching open habitats like this, you'd mostly expect to see animals on the move or in burrows, but some species prefer to hang out in brush or trees. What are you doing out this late? Check this out. Now this is a really neat little find out here after dark. Where I'm from in North Carolina, I'm used to seeing these guys out pretty much only in the day. This is a rough green snake. And they get their name, it's not very creative. It's got a little bit of a rough scale pattern and they're green. And that provides perfect, perfect camouflage in pretty much any arboreal environment. It's a very arboreal snake, you can see really good climbers. I can just let him go. He's gonna climb all over me. That camouflage is why they're one of my favorite all-time snakes. I love all these cryptic little creatures you can find that blend in and match their environment. And even though it's just a simple green color, out here it would look just like a vine. And since they're pretty nondescript, they don't stick out unless you shine them with a the light. They glare right back at you and that camouflage doesn't work too well. So I was able to spot this guy sticking out in this little bush here. Now what he's looking for are actually insects. Normally we think of snakes as eating other reptiles or particularly mammals, rat snakes, rattlesnakes, copperheads eat a lot of mice and stuff. These guys, almost exclusively insects. Though I'd have to guess if there was a lizard or a frog small enough, it would probably try and take it down. They're fairly opportunistic ambush hunters, slowly, slowly, climbing through these branches. And sometimes they'll even do a little bit of a slight swaying motion to kind of match a vine or a branch swaying in the wind. Really crazy little guys. Almost looks like something you'd find in the tropics more than something that you'd see in North America, but absolutely exciting to see out here and hopefully a good sign that we'll see some really cool, crazy reptiles later in the night. All right, buddy, go find some bugs and we'll see you later. While we did make some good finds, we hadn't found anything particularly crazy or new for the area. And as we were walking through a prickly pear patch and a sandy opening, I stepped right over two incredible snakes. Dude, he's... <laughs> what the heck, dude? 
That's insane. Let's go. They're so small. <laughs> Good eye, dude. Heck? Let's go. How did That's you sick. Person? Wow. Have a look at these little fossorial gems. That is a breeding pair of scarlet snakes. This one here, this larger one, that's the female. And this little guy here, it's the male. A Little bit of a longer tail on the male, and as you can see here, on average, just a bump smaller. But both gorgeous snakes. I mean, these are just two of the best snakes we could have found out here tonight. These guys are stunners. Now, this is actually a very rare locality of scarlet snake. Mississippi scarlet snakes are few and far between. In fact, most people who would live here would go their entire lives and never see one of these snakes. Now, Florida scarlet snakes, relatively findable. You can kind of see them throughout their range, throughout the state. There's some areas where they've got really good holdups. This area in particular, not really anything like that. We really don't know how many there are. We don't know how well they're doing. We just don't see enough of them to know whatsoever how many there are. Now scarlet snakes, they are fossorial snake species, which means they're spending all of their time underground. And as we saw, they came straight out of a little burrow. I mean, that's that, they were in something like that big, that wide, and they've got little digging nose. If you look at their face there, a little tiny, sharp nose, and they dig really well. They don't steal burrows, they typically dig their own. And they're gonna be spending the entirety of their time underground and coming out really late at night. These guys have a really weird schedule. I mean, we got these guys at like pretty much exactly nine o'clock and they had just emerged. So they're staying out till like two, 3 a.m. I know people that'll see these guys at that time just kind of out moving around super, super late. And that's what we see these guys doing here. Now these snakes are thought to mostly eat reptile eggs, so snake and lizard eggs. Now I don't know how accurate that is, that that's all that they eat. I would have to imagine that they would sometimes snack on a skink or another lizard but supposedly, they're just out here eating eggs. They're an egg specialist, which is really crazy to think about. And I know for a fact they will eat reptile eggs. I'm just curious, is there other things that they eat? We have no idea. They're just, they're so unknown to us, especially these guys, the northern scarlet snakes, because they're a little bit harder to come by. Now, they do have a very wide range. These guys go as far out into the Midwest as Oklahoma, and as far east as pretty much all the way to the Atlantic over in Virginia. There's a little bit of a gap in their range where I live in Louisiana, making them a very rare snake in my home state. They're pretty much found wherever there's longleaf, wherever there's savanna and piney areas. That's where they like to live. And of course, these super sandy places. They don't seem to really live on the dunes. They're more in the sandhill habitats rather than actual coastal dunes. Now for northern scarlet snake standards, these guys are pretty big. These would actually both be considered adult scarlet snakes for this area and that's i mean obviously it's a breeding pair but the florida scarlet snake gets huge i mean they get like four times the size of the northerns but the northerns have a little bit cooler banding a little bit darker colorations and a little bit of a thinner head they definitely don't have as wide of a band on the back of their head there so there's just some little differences between them and the scarlets they're also a little bit more sandy oriented than the floridas the floridas are more up in those cypress and coastal marshes whereas these guys very, very sandy species. Wow, well, what an incredible nocturnal find. Really good spot by Spencer and probably one of the best finds we could have gotten out here tonight. These guys are actually mimics of one of the very important snakes that we're looking for out here, the Eastern Coral Snake, a snake that's all been extirpated from Mississippi. Been years since one's been seen in this area and one that will hopefully be getting up close with in the future but until then we really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do want to see the species of snake that these guys are mimicking make sure to check out the time that we found a big old coral snake in my home state of Louisiana a really great snake that one and we will see you guys next time all right time to let these guys back into the night what a gem